Hi, Lee Ashby here. Uh, today I just wanted to show you this new plugin I've got for OpenCart. Um, it's X Shipping Pro and it is for setting up all your shipping rules for your store. Um, shipping can be quite complicated, um, but this plugin does help uh, sort it out. But there, you do have to sort of uh, understand the logic that you want to apply uh, to your shipping because it can get out of control pretty quickly. So. My top tip would be to keep it as simple as possible. Uh, okay, so let's have a look here. In our extensions section, where we go to extensions, and we would go down to shipping, and right down the bottom we've got X Shipping Pro. Um, so we've already installed our plugin. Um, all the others are disabled. Um, we click on the pencil to edit our shipping. And that brings up this page. Um, okay, so we'll just do a, sort of like a high level overview in this video and then maybe um, get down into some details uh, in the next one just to break it up a bit. Okay, so in global settings, um, as the name suggests, these are the settings uh, sort of site wide, if you like, for the, for the whole plugin. Um, so basic stuff, we can set a heading. Um, just some ordering uh, and enabling here. It's pretty pretty straightforward, so I won't go into that uh, too much. The main thing we want to look at here is the group option. Um, now you'll have to do a bit of reading up um, around what groups mean, um, but basically this is where you can set uh, the combinations of shipping or when they join together. Uh, what happens? So in this instance, we've got group one uh, to so show the lowest uh, method. Um, so, for example, that would show um, free shipping or the lowest cost if we're using that method. Uh, group 2 is the highest, so it will pick the highest um, shipping option that the plugin uh, decides or displays. So it will choose the highest. Um, and group 3 here uses like a sum method, so adding things up. Um, so, for example, in this store we'll have um, maybe a flat rate of shipping plus a heavy item surcharge, it'll add those two things together um, and display display that cost uh, in the checkout uh, for the customer. So that's basically all there is in the um, global settings section. Um, there's obviously some import and export things here, but we won't worry about that. Um, okay, so just to continue on, we've got the, we'll just go through a few of these, the flat rate uh, for Australia. Um, so for this store, the customer wants a flat rate uh, for Australian shoppers, plus a few other rules, but we'll, we'll start with, with this one. Um, so we've just got the name of the methods here, um, and to add a method, you just click the uh, Add New Method uh, button here. Um, so we've got some stuff you may have seen before in OpenCart, um, such as tax class, we can add a URL, uh, so these things are, are optional, so I haven't, haven't done those uh, yet. So that's, a, sorry, a, a logo URL. Um, the sort order, obviously, it's enabled, um, and we're using group two. Um, so if you remember from just a minute ago in the global settings, um, group two is highest, so we're going to be using the highest uh, method uh, for this one. It'll all make a little bit of sense, hopefully, as we move along through the video. Okay, so for this flat rate Australia, we've got some criteria. Um, so this is just a single store setup. Um, so it's for any store, for any geo zone, for any city, and it is for Australia because it's Australian wide uh, shipping. So we just tick Australia in that case. Now in this store, we've got two customer groups, um, default, which is just your everyday customer, and we've also got a wholesale group. Um, now, wholesale shipping we want to handle completely separately, so um, we've unticked them and we'll deal with them separately in a different shipping method. Um, so for this one, we'll just click default, um, and all these other options are ticked, so it's for any combination of, of those is, is fine. On the category product page, this is where you can add exceptions to the rules. Um, so in this case, it'll be flat rate uh, for Australia, except 
if these products are in their cart. Um, now, there's some help here that reads a little bit funny, so I'll take that with a grain of salt and basically do um, some testing to really understand what it's trying to do. Um, but the one that seems the most obvious to me is this option here, accept the selected products with others. And I think that basically means you can have um, these products and if you want, you can have other products in the cart as well, and it'll trigger this um, this uh, this shipping method and, and calculate it how how you want. Um, there may be other things that if you're doing a special on shipping or something like that, where you only want you know a particular product to have a certain price, um, you could perhaps change that uh, and set up a special rule for that particular um, product. So must have these products um, without others, for example. That may be something you want to want to do if you're having a a special on uh, a particular product. Um, but for the moment, I think this is is what you want to do and for any product option, so any flavor or size um, there. And then we come to the price for the flat rate Australia. And in this instance, we're going with a, a flat rate and you can choose all sorts of different ways to calculate things. So flat rate is nice and easy, $10. And I don't think we have to worry about this um, this is only relevant if you're trying to do percentages, I think. I think there's some, uh, yeah, I'm not sure where you set up uh, a percentage method. Um, but yeah, we don't have to worry about it, uh, as it says there. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, percentage cost for some adjustments. So we won't worry about that at the minute. But just leave it on subtotal, I think, is the is the way to go. which is the default. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. You can set up uh, when the shipping will take place, but as I said at the start, it's best to try and keep it simple. Um, so we've just got everything. This is all default settings, basically. So everything, the shipping applies uh, across the week. Um, but if you wanted to charge a different rate uh, for shipping on the weekend or something like that, you could, you could certainly set that up here if you wanted to. Uh, again, for time, ranges, the weight range, uh, quantities, you know, this, this, this could be useful uh, at some stage. And the way it's calculating is using the delivery address, which makes sense. Um, and I think this is sort of uh, like an old, older style way of uh, doing things with this plugin that's probably um, been updated now. So we probably won't be using the hide uh, methods here. We're sort of hiding them in another way using the group function, really. Um, but if for some reason you wanted to hide other methods, this is a place that you could uh, you could do it. And yeah, you just click in and and, and choose. Uh, okay, so that's flat rate uh, shipping. So I might finish this video up here, and in the next next one, we'll um, cruise through and perhaps look at um, the free shipping method and when that enables and how that interacts with some of the others. And then I'll look into the, uh, we've got basically in this store using a large and heavy item um, surcharge, if you like. So when someone adds a heavy product to their store, uh, to their checkout, uh, sorry, say that again, when they add a heavy item to their cart, how the um, checkout responds in the shipping, shipping method. So let's look at that in our next video. Cheers.